Good morning. Good morning, good morning. Welcome to my live. Get ready with me. I'm gonna move this closer. I'm gonna move this closer and turn the light off and blonde and blonde everyone. Good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. As you come on, y'all let me know if y'all can hear me. Nuggets. I'm about to get started. I've got a nail. That is giving me problems. Good morning, Melissa. Oh, I don't want to go to work today, y'all. I don't want to go to work today. My brow pencil is gone. It's empty. Good morning, Christina. Huh. Melissa, thank you so much. That's nice. Girl, I just get up in the morning and put my makeup on and talk to y'all about today's shindigs. So y'all know my pencil, my, um, um, my brow pencil ran out yesterday. Gone. So I'll have to use my old school trick. Which I kind of like my old school trick a little bit better. It's a little bit easier. But it doesn't get my brows as sharp as I like them. See how it's kind of fat at the end? Oh. Oh well. Nobody's got time to manicure the brows. I'm not real big on manicured brows. I hate them. Uh, it is hump day. Yeah, I don't like those big giant block brows at all. I just like for my thin, wispy looking brows to look like me. I like an illusion. This big, um, blocky brows, you know how they fade them in. It looks like an ombre effect and it starts here. <laughs> I just tickled myself this morning. <laughs> they should call that ombre brow. <laughs> oh, that's so stupid. I just don't, I don't understand why they do that to themselves. I just don't. I just don't get it. That's good enough for me. Them ombre brow. Don't do the ombre brow. I'm gonna write a song that says, don't do the ombre brow. Don't do the ombre brow. Nope, don't do the ombre brow. It's crazy, this um, phone is a better mirror than my mirror. I feel like it, um, it's far enough away that it um, looks good. Morning, Lisa. Good morning. Good morning, good morning. I don't know what to do with my face today. I want to do something simple. I have on a little dress. Just got this like embroidery. Look, it came up like this. Okay, so I just wanted to get me more coffee. All right. So, y'all, I wish y'all could see my makeup stash. I hear it. It's a mess. Here it is right here in my face. I'm gonna put on some primer for my eyeballs. All right, I gotta hurry up today. I've been going over my 15 minutes and I don't know if it's because I've been too instructional 
Lisa, you know I'm a little crazy. I don't know if it's because I've been too instructional or what, but I have, um, I've been giving y'all too much. I've been giving you too much, gotta hold back. I gotta get ready and get the hell out of here so I can make it to work on time. Well, I make it on time, but not really. 805, 809 is not on time. You know, sometimes you try to tell yourself that 805 is on time. It's not. If you're supposed to clock in at 8, 805 is not on time. But when I clock in at 805, I just bought a new caboodle. Man, I'm torn because <clears throat> I have I have all my makeup in my makeup trunk. So if y'all really wanna know what I just put on, I just put on that everyday look. I'm telling y'all, I use this every single day and it's already, I wouldn't say half, I would say it's probably about a third of the way down. These pigments last, I had my first pigment for two years, maybe a year and a half. Two years might be a long time, but um, I had this pigment for two years. And this one is the third way gone. I put it on every single day, sometimes by itself, and sometimes, um, and mostly every day is my um, transition color. <clears throat> and I love it. So if you don't have everyday eyeshadow, makeup wearers are not. You need one. All right. I think I want to wear some purple today, but I don't know where it's at. I'm not real sure. I got all these pigments. So Lisa, is it big? Tell me about it. Is it, is it colored? Is it? I hadn't bought a caboodle in so long. You know what I'm gonna do? Ah. Y'all, I can't find my stuff. I'll have to go with confident. Infatuated. Thank you, Naomi. I got these from my mother-in-law for Christmas. Y'all, I am tripping. Where? Forget it. Look change. I changed my mind on my look. Because I can't find my burgundy purple. So I'm just gonna go with a bronze look. Yep, my mother-in-law got me this for Christmas, Susan. And she got me this necklace too. Okay. Yeah, send it to me, Lisa. Okay, Christina, have a good day. Have a good day, girl. So, originally I started this just to show women that makeup doesn't really take all that. It's not really all that hard to put on. And it doesn't take a whole lot of time. Just 15 minutes, but seem to go over every morning now and I think I got real comfortable with y'all and start talking way too much. So I run in my miss out. So I gotta get back to my 15 minute routine. Really. Good morning, good morning. Right now, 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 right
I'll have to look at it in a minute. So I, I decided that I'm not gonna um, I'm not gonna talk about the colors or anything because I upload these looks. I upload it to my lookbook, and my lookbook has all the colors and everything there. So if you want to know what I'm wearing, you can look at the lookbook when I finish. So there's that. Um, today I think I'm gonna do BB cream again. Y'all, I can't get it together. I'm gonna wear BB cream again today because I think my face needs some moisture, some mustard. I wear two different color BB creams. Lisa is texting me. She got a new caboodle and she sent me some pictures of it to put all her makeup in. But she still needs to come over and play in my makeup. Alright, so I'm gonna wear BB cream today again. Nice and natural look to moisturize your face. If y'all don't know the difference between BB cream, um, there's all different kinds of foundations. There's um, liquid foundation, there's powder foundation, there's cream foundation. Um, and then there's BB cream, which is not really foundation. That's a tinted moisturizer. More like a tinted moisturizer. That's what I could say. But I like BB cream in the summer because it um, keeps my skin nice and moisturized, and it's um, it's not real hot. I know, Lisa. When you go back and you watch the replay, you're gonna hear your text come through. It's that brutal. All right, that's good enough, right? I feel like I need a little bit more. Y'all, my brushes, look at that. Ooh, God, looking bad. I need to clean them. I need to clean it. Clean it, clean it. Oh, there's a kitty right there. There's a kitty on the deck and I want to touch it. a little bit more BB cream on because I felt like it wasn't enough. I felt like it was running thin. All right. All right, 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 all right. Yeah, Lisa, I love a good caboodle because, um, Um, no. Well, um, you can use, if you don't have anything to clean your brushes with, you can use, um, uh, baby shampoo. Apparently baby shampoo is really gentle on the bristles and it does, it does stink in here. I really think it's the litter box. The litter box is out of like new litter. It needs like fresh litter. Or something's dead. Maybe the kitty brought something in and hid something. So anyway, my friend, my customer, um, Jenny, bought me some makeup shampoo from Ulta. And it, it's an antibacterial formula, makeup brush shampoo, shampoo and purifying. It says, an antibacterial brush shampoo designed to deep clean your brushes once a week. And um, it works really good. And it's called, it's not called nothing. <laughs> it's called, it's called Makeup Brush Shampoo, Shampoo, Shampoo from Sephora. So that's what I've been using. But it's been more like every two weeks and not every week because I'm super lazy. All right. So there's that. I don't think I'm gonna do anything else. Maybe some concealer. Cypress concealer. I think I'm gonna conceal. I don't think I'm gonna highlight today. I'm gonna use the same color as my skin. Well, 
So this is the same color that I use in the liquid foundation. I'm going to use quite a bit today because I want it to conceal really well with this BB cream. Alright, 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 alright. Yeah, go get some. Try it out. Or just try baby shampoo first, Lisa. It might work for you. I didn't buy that. I'm cheap. I always use um, a gentle shampoo or baby shampoo. And um, she bought that for me, so it's the only reason I have it. So try baby shampoo first. And if you feel like that baby shampoo didn't really work for you, then go try it. Baby shampoo is cheap. You can get those little tiny ones. Alright. I think that's um I think that's good. I think I'm gonna wear a little bit of eyeliner today and then call it call it done. If I can find it. Will somebody come over here and clean up my makeup stash? Please. Come over here and clean it. Come and clean it. Does everybody else's makeup like go crazy? It's all clean when you first start, and then by the time you finish, it's everywhere. It's all over the place. Where I'm, I'm putting my stuff up, hoping I come across my black eyeliner. But do y'all remember these? I remember these. I kept all of mine. Just about every single one. I think there's another one somewhere. But I'll show y'all real quick. I kept all of my this one. I have one with all my eyeliner pencils in them. I lip liner pencils. I have one with my brow gels. Good morning. Um, I have one with all my brow gels and brow pencils of different colors. I'm out of my color. And then I have one that I take um, out of town with me when I travel. I keep it empty and I um, pick like some neutral eyeshadows that I'm gonna that I can wear every day. And that's how I travel with my eyeshadows. That's what I do with mine. So if anybody has any of these and don't know what to do with them, that's something you can do with it. Or if you don't want it, you can send it to me. I will use them. I'm gonna put on a little highlight for you. I never did find my um, black eyeliner. Yeah, that's that's Emma. And you know what? I thought it was the new food that I bought her that may have been making her sick, but I haven't even opened that food yet. Yeah, well, maybe this new food would be better. I, it was not um, cheap. All right, so I gotta find my black eyeliner so I can put it on and get out of here. You know what? Since I was gonna do, since I was gonna do purple eyeshadow today, and I can't find it. Okay, so I'm gonna have to clean up my space because I can't find anything. Maybe I should just drink coffee. I can't find anything. I'm looking for my pencil sharpener. I've got two. Oh, there it is. So I think I need to go live today. Um, my teammates challenged me to do um, 
a look, recreate a look, a fictional character look. And I really couldn't find one that I thought was simple enough for me. And so I chose Maleficent, but the picture I chose really wasn't Maleficent. It was kind of somebody else that did a, a dummy down version of it. And the competition is to create the look. And then um, share it and get as many likes as I can. And I haven't done it yet. A little purple under the eyes. I haven't done my look yet. So I need to do that today. I need to do that today and get that circulating. So I can win the challenge. Alright, I'm gonna put on some mascara. Though. Oh, I got cold. I'm not even gonna put on any primer today. Just gonna put some mascara on. Oh, my, that primer. Makes the world a difference. Yeah, mascara primer. For all you haven't seen it, it's this Monster Lash. Get at Sally's. It gets all really nasty around the edges. I don't know why. It's weird. Let's see. My lashes are like hard and, um, or not hard, but they're real soft and curly. So when I put this primer on, it, um, it helps kind of straighten them out a little bit. you like it? I know Jenny, um, my friend Jenny went and bought some yesterday, I think. And she likes it. Oh, okay. Anyway, I, um, it really makes a world of difference to me. I can tell. I don't know if you can see that. This eye has fibers on it, but this eye, that other eye didn't look like that. Yeah, Lisa, I like it too. I like it a lot. I also bought this eyelash curler. It's got a battery right now. I bought this eyelash curler too a long time ago, and I try to like straighten my eyelashes with it. No eyelash straightener out there. I wish I could invent one. But I try to straighten my lashes with it and I use that for the first time and my lashes were pretty awesome. 3D mascara does good for volume and length, but my eyelashes are so curly that I just can't um, generate the look that I really want. Alright guys, I gotta go. Way past 15 minutes to I'm sure. So there's that. So I have to go today. Thanks for watching. I will have my look uploaded to my lookbook with all the products that I use. I will post them in the comments. I will have this uploaded to my YouTube channel today. I will post that link in the comments. Make sure you like and subscribe.
because I do other stuff all the time. I will also post the after photo. My friend Linda is texting me. And there's the final look. I'm not going to do any blush or anything like that. So, you'll make sure and share this video for me. And tomorrow is September 1st. I'm going to tell y'all this real quick and then I got to go. So tomorrow is September 1st and in between September 1st and September 15th, I do my yearly customer appreciation party. It is huge. It is like, it's cause my customer appreciation and my Black Friday events are two of my most biggest events of the year and it's so much fun. But my customer appreciation is um, kind of like a birthday celebration for me. And so I share that with all of my customers or um, new customers. So be on the lookout for an invite. Probably tomorrow or Friday, I will probably have the event up um, and start inviting people and create a welcome video. Um, I'm not real sure how I'm gonna do it yet. Um, my very first customer appreciation party was the most successful one that I had and it was the funnest one and I gave away the most stuff. So I'm thinking I'm gonna duplicate something like that. But it should be pretty fun and pretty awesome. And with Facebook Live um, being available now, I don't have to pre-record videos. So um, that's gonna be awesome. So anyway, stay on the lookout. Um, just drop a comment below if you wanna be invited. I'll put you on the list. It's gonna be invite only. It won't be an open event. It won't be public. I won't be inviting everyone. Um, I will have past customers. Uh, current customers and anyone that would like to be a new customer um, There's sweet deals sweet giveaways that I have lined up for it this year. So super 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 excited Anyway, everything about this look will be in the comments later Make sure you like subscribe follow my fan page Share this video and all that kind of stuff because you love me and I love you guys too And I hope you guys have a good hump day. Bye